As a child, you learn two things. Sugar tastes really good, and you're really not supposed to have a lot of it. Being so busy with getting sweet food, you probably didn't have a lot of time to actually wonder why you want sugar in the first place, and why adults are always trying to make sure you don't get it. If you have those questions now and want an answer, you've come to the right video. Let me explain. The sugars we eat come in a few forms. These include fructose, often found in fruits, hence the name, glucose, often found in plants and honey, sucrose, a combination of fructose and glucose, and probably what you think of when you imagine sugar, as well as others, such as lactose, found in milk. Although not everybody can digest lactose, and those that can don't always like to. What all of these compounds have in common is that they are very high in energy. Energy is how your body does everything, so naturally getting a hold of it is high priority for your body. Evolutionarily, animals that eat sugar tend to get more energy and are more successful. Think about it, if you didn't like sugar, you wouldn't get enough energy to survive and pass on your genes. That's why there's so few people who really dislike the taste of sugar. Now we know why we crave sweet food, it gets your body energy. But there's still another question hanging around, which is why, if sugar is so obviously useful to us, is it also super duper unhealthy? Well, when your body consumes sugar, it stores any energy that you don't currently need in the form of body fat. Our human instincts tell us to eat as much sugar as we can, but that turns out to be way more than we need. All of the excess energy in the sugar we eat goes to body fat, which in very high amounts can have deadly side effects. Okay, that's all well and good. We know why too much sugar is bad, and why it's also useful in small amounts, but we still haven't quite gotten to the bottom of this. After all, if we only need a moderate amount of sugar to stay alive and healthy, why are our brains programmed to eat as much sugar as possible? The answer lies in how our brains evolved. You see, nowadays you can buy hundreds of grams of sugar with just a few dollars. However, 100,000 years ago, the most amount of sugar you could hope to eat in a single day was a tiny, tiny fraction of what it is now. There's no Coca-Cola to sell you their soda, and the fruits are ridiculously small, containing minuscule amounts of sugar. Thus, the most logical behavior for brains, at that time, would be to eat as much sugar as possible. Because at the time, that wasn't very much at all, well within the range of healthy. Today, we are still stuck with those same brains, but now the max amount of sugar we can eat is functionally limitless, hence the adverse side effects being extremely common. For future reference, this is not an anti-sugar video. Sugar is just another molecule. It only happens to be eaten a lot, so its harmful side effects are seen way more often than others. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.